Since its creation in 2005, YouTube has been the center of the internet for entertainment. YouTube and social media as a whole has given birth to a renaissance for independent artists. Over the years, many musicians have discovered fame and fortune through YouTube. Times that you rain on my parade And all the clubs you get and using my name So the question still stands. Who's the best rapper in the game right now? Best rapper in the game, Lonnie Berry by far. Lonnie Berry. Say Lonnie Berry. Lonnie Berry. Lonnie Berry. Lonnie Berry. Lonnie Berry. Say Lonnie Berry. Lonnie Berry. Bro, Lonnie Berry. 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 Best rapper in the game, kind of a toss up between Kendrick Lamar, J. Cole, Logic, but I'm pretty sure I'd have to put my money on Lonnie Berry. Yo, 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 what up, my fans out there? Formerly known as the Ballin' Kid, Lonnie Berry has become an internet sensation overnight. Known for his playful lyrics and aggressive flow, Lonnie is the next big star waiting to be found. Greatest rapper alive. Oh, he's a big inspiration to everybody. He's the heart. He's the soul of Gallusberg. He puts in the work that not that no one else can. Gets bitches, gets money, what's better than that? I know that he's a cool guy. He likes to help out a lot of people. Uh, he loves the city that he lives in and just wants to help support everybody. Favorite song by Lonnie Berry? I don't know, that's a hard one to choose. He's, he has many good uh, rhymes, lyrics. Etc. But I gotta give a shout out to my boy Barry. Scooby Dee Doo Dee Doo. Do You're a pussy bitch. I gotta go with Donald Duck for sure. Yeah, yeah. Donald Duck. This, uh, I'd, I'd have to say Donald Duck. I gotta say, do it for the bird. Everything I do, do it for the bird. That one. It hits the home. He's a staple at this point, you know, who else is going to be on top of the rap game like Lonnie Berry? Nobody. Nobody in this little town. Look at this. We ain't got rappers like Lonnie Berry out here. What does he mean to Galesburg? Everything. When I mean everything, I mean everything. You see McDonald's behind there? That's Lonnie Berry. You see someone walking down the street? That's Lonnie Berry. I'll be honored to see Lonnie Berry in action on Seminary Street around Cherry Street Pub on Friday nights. I'd be honored and grateful if I ever get to see him. I love you, Lonnie. Asking what Lonnie Berry means to Galesburg is like asking what is Galesburg. Lonnie Berry is Galesburg. They're one and the same. Lonnie was a very hard man to get a hold of, but after three days of waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting, we finally got a hold of the man. Hi, my name is Lonnie Berry. I'm from the Berg. I do it for the Berg. I say I do it for the Berg. So what is your name? Uh, Lonnie Berry. Where are you from? Galesburg. You rep the Berg? Yes. Hell yeah. Um, so why do you rap? Because I like to rap and I like my fans. I love my fans. Uh, and I'm trying to proceed a dream. And what, what's that dream? Be famous. Who's your favorite rapper? Uh, Eminem or Tech Nine. Tech Nine, and you and you would compare yourself to Tech Nine due to your fast flow and your yeah, aggressive lyrics. The fast flow that I did it <clears throat> with Dick about. Yeah. Um. So what is your favorite song right now? Like, like famous song? Yeah. Well, it, it, you, you could have your own famous, like, my. you could like your own famous. song if you wanted to. I uh, would have to be. Um, 
Lil yeah. Wayne, Hollow Easy. And what's your favorite song that you made? I'm gonna go Donald Duck in this bitch. Why? And what what kind of what like made you just like think of like an animated character Donald Duck and make a song about him? Because like I figured it would go out as I'm gonna go Donald Duck in this bitch like like a good beat and you know with a good beat and like something with the impact to it. So so there's like no meaning behind it all. It's just for sound. Well, there is because it goes with like, kind of like because there's three syllables in Donald Duck. Like, so. Yeah. So it just kind of works out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you didn't. Why didn't you pick Bugs Bunny? That has three syllables. <laughs> because Bugs Bunny <clears throat> is kind of hard to do compared to a Donald Duck. Because you can make the quack noise in that. Yeah. Make oh, a rabbit noise for me. A rapping noise. Uh, no, a rabbit noise. Like your Bugs Bunny. Like you're going. What's up, Do it again. What's up, Doc? There you go. There you go. There you go. Rabbits. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> How did you start rapping, Lonnie? Uh, I started rapping at 18. I just started rapping without no beats, and then I'm trying. What I'm trying to do is beats with it now, because I got one on my phone. I just haven't uploaded. So on you Facebook. you were all no hook, no beat, nothing. You were just straight freestyle, and now yeah. you're starting to get more into the music side of side of the industry. Yeah. Okay, I see. Hunter Ramsey and Matt Montgomery. What are your thoughts on them? They're nothing but a pussy bitch. Yeah, and when you released the song, You a Pussy Bitch, what what was going through your mind? Because obviously you just woke up. I mean, did yeah. it just did it just come right off the dome like that? Yeah, like, like, I got his diss, Mac Montgomery's diss, and I just thought about it that night. And then I'm like, well, this motherfucker could talk shit, but he can't say it to my face. Yeah, I So I, I call agree. him a pussy bitch. Yeah, but you called Hunter Hunter Ramsey a pussy bitch, not Mac yeah, Montgomery. Yeah, well, like, they're both pussy bitches. Oh, I'll tell you. Okay, what's the definition of a pussy bitch? <laughs> Somebody that talks shit but won't come to your face and actually try to and it, and say it, something. And if they met you face to face, would would you put them hands up? Yes. You would most definitely. Hundred yes. yeah. percent. And you you you'd win that, right? Well, if it's two on one. No, no, if it's one on one. One on one. Yeah. yeah most likely. Oh, okay. I may get my ass kicked, but I don't give a fuck. And then you rap about it. And that's a good rap. That's another 12,000 views. If I get my ass kicked, I'm coming back with a clock. With a, that's, on the block? Reckless. On the block, right? <laughs> so how'd your beef start with both of them? Like, individually? Like, beats? No, like, no, beef. No, beef. Like, like, like how'd you... With Hunter, and, and, uh, yeah. Hunter, I didn't have really nothing beef with him until he started dissing on my raps. And then I figured, well, okay, you're going to diss on my raps, so then I'm going to start coming back with a diss. And then Matt... On the other stand, he, we was playing basketball at the Y, and every time I played basketball, he'd just laugh at me and make fun of me. Come on, Lonnie, you can do this. It's like he was making fun of me. Yeah, he actually told us in an interview that he beat you 21-0 to zero every time he played you. Is no. that true? He beat me like 21-5 to five or 10. Same thing. Um, so you were formerly known as the balling kid, as yes. one would say. Um, what kind of happened to that? How come you don't rep ball anymore? And you could hit a balling for me if you wanted to right now. Alright, balling! Yeah, why don't you do that anymore? Because the teachers at the high school didn't let me do it. They they were just fucking assholes. Why didn't they let you do it? Did you like go into classrooms and yell balling? Yes, I would. Well, I not only that, I would walk down the hallways. Well, I didn't say it. Actually, there's a couple times I think I did say it in the class. So, are you in a gang? No. Well I, well, I have people that are in gangs. I have friends. That are gangs. Oh, okay. But you yourself, but you not, stay out that. Yeah, business. I stay out of that. Cause you focus on your rap career. You, yeah. Um, trying to make it out of here. Would yeah. you, if you did have to make a gang name or a gang in general, what would you call it and why? The Bang Bang Squad. Bang no. Bang Squad. No. Hold on. Just squad. Run up on my block, I'll shoot you with the Glock squad. Yes. What about Dirty Bird? No, no. no Dirty do Bird. it for the Berg squad. Do it for the Berg squad? Yep. That does. Um, and one cool. last question before we leave here. If you had to compare yourself to a shampoo, what kind of shampoo would it be? Shampoo. Uh, Axe. Axe, because all the women love you. Yes. It makes sense. All right. Thank you for coming out here today, Lonnie. It was a pleasure to meet you. Have a good day. With great love comes great hate.
Ani is praised upon social media, but is also disgusted by some people. So to catch up with a little bit of this hate, we decided to talk with Matt Montgomery and Hunter Ramsey, who recently had a little bit of beef with Lonnie Berry. So to you, who is Lonnie Berry? He is a Gelsberg rapper with the greasiest hair. And you best believe me, standing around that man, the fire is not from his mixtapes. It is from the grease on that head. <laughs> okay. Uh, how do you know Lonnie? Um, I don't really know him personally. Um, I saw one of his videos on Facebook. It wasn't very good. Yeah. So I commented on it saying that it was pretty shitty. Yeah. So, so what's the beef between you and him? Oh, I didn't know there was any beef. I was just sitting there playing 2K, enjoying myself, you know, getting a little angry, yelling. But then I hear, fuck Matt Gummery and such, and then I was like, oh hell no. I had to attack him. Not physically, though, because I'm not a bad person. But what's your beef with Lonnie? Um, I honestly don't know. Really? Well, I mean, he refers to you all the time, and especially in the song, You're a Pussy Bitch. Like, how'd, that, how'd that even start? Uh, like I said earlier, I, comment <coughs> I commented on one of his videos saying it was shitty. Mm -hmm. And he, yeah, I guess that, he, that prompted him to uh, make a video about me. I got you. Very hurt, hurtful one at that. Mm-hmm. So, uh, what did you think of his song titled, You're a Pussy Bitch? Oh, I thought it was terrible. Um, I can probably shit better sounds than that. Um, yeah. he honestly probably one of the worst rappers ever to come out of Galesburg, Illinois. The United States, probably, you know, the solar system. Mm hmm Yeah. Wow, that's like, all the planets. He recently mentioned you on a diss track. What was that all about? Well, Jacob Allen came to Lonnie Barry and he was like, Lonnie Bear, you should diss Matt Montgomery. And since that child is mildly autistic, he did it. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's hard to keep my composure when I'm telling the truth. Yeah, let's keep it professional. Why haven't you released a diss track? Um, honestly, I have no musical talent whatsoever. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not afraid to say it. Yeah. I don't have the balls to put out a video like he does. Even well, then I'm why are you hating in the comment section? Honestly, especially on a video that got 15,000 views. Honestly, it sounded like shit. Um, uh, he had, yeah, like I said earlier, he has no musical talent. Are you saying you can do any better? No, I'm not. I'm saying I'm, as an American, I'm entitled to my own opinion. Mm -hmm. And But at one point in your comments, you did state that you could put out better music than Lonnie. So are you Hunter Ramsey saying that you are a better rapper than Lonnie Barry? Most definitely, yeah. Wow, big statement. Um, well, any last thoughts or messages for Lonnie? Well, honestly, I really think you should stop making music. It sounds like shit. You sound like a dying gorilla. Um, my nine-year-old sister can do better than you, and yeah, just stop, please. Wow. Quit wasting everyone's time. During our time with Lonnie, there was one thing we actually didn't expect to see. <laughs> How many fans he actually has. It was nice to witness a few things we saw, such as people pulling over to say hi, to take videos, and even rap battles. My name's Che, and I'm one of Lonnie Berry's number one fans. Happy birthday, Che! We about to bust a rap for you, Che! Happy, happy birthday, Che! <laughs> 14! <laughs> <laughs> So, Lonnie, how do you feel about a competitive rap battle? I don't care. I'll challenge anybody out here. I don't give a shit who they are. Because I'm doing it for the bird, and I'm doing it for Shytown, and I'm doing it for Pete Town. Hey, folks, want, want a rap battle? Sure. Because I'm the realest motherfucker in the bag. I'll respect him and let him go first. I don't care. Go let him go first? I bet. He let me go first. This ain't even competition. I already put it in the hearse. I spit a verse like I'm in church. This time, not my worth. Ooh! All right, Lonnie, come back, bro. Come on, Lonnie. My name is Lonnie Berry. I don't give a fuck who you are. I come up on your block, and I'll shoot you with my Glock. Ooh. 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 You know, I think it's stale, man. You got the Glock. You feel like you're the man. You feel like you're on top. Just stop. You really not. Come back, come back. You know what? I don't give a fuck if I'm on the top because my views are going straight up to the top.
you got something to say? <laughs> Michael said, what? Shit ain't cool. <laughs> and I said, fast, go eat a salad. <laughs> what do you got to say to your haters, Lonnie? Haters are my motivators. I don't give a fuck. 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 You hit him with the nine chuck. <laughs> Let me. Sorry. <laughs> do it again. Not nah, I me. Mean, that's nasty. That sounds gay. Do that with car. Hell nah. Gay. Lonnie Berry gay? I ain't fucking gay. I'm straight as a motherfucker. How straight? Straight as my dick. Well, being a local celebrity may be fun, but very few people realize this. Lonnie's a man on a mission. So, it's time we ask him the real question. So, why do you want to be famous? Because I want to help out with my brother. And, like, one thing is I want to do is, if I do become famous, I want to at least, you know, before he goes, give him, like, an autograph or whatever, something. And also, I want to do something with Children's Hospital. Because your brother. Yes. Or something with Make a Wish, because my brother's hand, the condition. And. What's your brother's condition? He's mentally challenged. Like, he can't talk. He can't talk like a personal person. He can't say mom, dad, brother. Well, he can say, like he did one day, because I recorded a video of him going, mama, mama. So he's starting to get a little bit of. But he cannot dress himself. He cannot. Uh change and you know all that stuff feed himself we gotta feed him and everything he's like a newborn yeah. he's like a baby but you still gotta love him the same yeah. and that's one thing I want to do is I want to make people happy that is one of my goals I want to if I become famous make people happy not not see people that are sad broken hearted or whatever because I feel that way sometimes you know I, I, I feel the haters sometimes you know and I feel my great grandma being gone and all that but I just gotta live up. So there's sometimes I walk down this town and you'll see me crying. But other than that, I'm a happy person. I try to make people happy. That is me. Like, I have a heart for people. Let's just fight out. I got a heart for people. Regardless whether they want to talk shit about me or not, I got a heart. And I just want people to realize that I do have a heart. Though. Lonnie is not your average person. There's this misconception that he's arrogant or crude, and people generally don't like that. But <laughs> that's simply not true. He's actually one of the kindest people I've ever met. He proudly represents a city. He's a rapper who hones his craft every day, and he's trying to be on the come up for something he loves to do. So simply put, watch out for the man, the myth, the legend. Stand up like a soldier, baby. Yeah, I know you been like that. Got it like a holster, baby. Show them say you're wicked like that. 